Search for Dr. Panda. Hi, everyone. Hiya. It's Dr. Panda Toto time. Today, Olette is a detective. Her job is to solve Panda City's greatest mysteries. And she needs your help. Yay. <laughs> Let's go find out what she's working on. Hi, Olette. What exciting mystery are you going to solve today? It's May May. Her favorite shirt has gone missing. No worries. Detective Olette is on the case. Let's see, May May. What did your shirt look like? It was pink with green stripes and it had a yellow bee in the middle. Someone must have taken May May's shirt by mistake. Let's check who else is at the laundromat. Bip, Moo, and Papa. Can you help Olette figure out who has May May's shirt? First up is Bip. Is Bip wearing a pink shirt with green stripes? Nope, he's wearing a blue shirt with green stripes. Okay, next is Moo. Is Moo wearing a pink shirt with green stripes? Yep, but does Moo's shirt have a yellow bee on it? Yes, it does. Oh no, oh no, oh, oh no. That, that was a real bee. Moo's shirt has a cupcake on it. That just leaves us with Hoopa. Where did Hoopa go? Can you see any clues, Olette? Olette, behind you, a, 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 a ghost. Oh, <laughs> it's only Hoopa. So, is Hoopa wearing a pink shirt with green stripes and a yellow bee on it? Yes, he is. Hoopa has May May's shirt. You have some explaining to do, Hoopa. Why are you wearing May May's shirt? Hmm. Huh? Is that shirt yours, May May? Aha! Olette has figured out what happened. Hoopa and May May have the same bags. They must have got them mixed up by mistake. Mystery solved. Awesome. Can I get a high five? Yay. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Olette. So, what exciting mystery are you working on today? It's Hoopa. What's the matter, Hoopa? Better go and see what's going on, Olette. Follow that. Oh, I get it. Some of Hoopa's cookies have gone missing. Are you sure you didn't just eat them? Hmm. Well, no worries, Hoopa. Detective Olette is here to solve your cookie mystery. <laughs> Detective Olette has found a trail. If we follow the chocolate chip crumbs, it might just lead us to Hoopa's cookies. <gasps> Look, Olette! There's a cookie! The cookie's trying to make a run for it. Follow that cookie! Oh, where did the cookie go? Can you help Olette find Hoopa's cookie? Is the cookie under the pile of planks? No, it moved. Did you see where the cookie went? Maybe it's behind those big wheels. Oh no, where did it go now? Is it between those bricks? Oh, there's the cookie. And look who it is. It's Mr. Mouse. Did you take Hoopa's cookies, Mr. Mouse? Oh, I see. You needed the cookies to feed your family. Aw, oh, that's really sweet of you, Hoopa. Giving your last cookie to Mr. Mouse and his family. Awesome. Another mystery solved. Hi, Olette. Huh? Where is she? Ah, there you are, Olette. No mysteries to solve today? Just out for a stroll, huh? Awesome! The park's a great place to relax. See, there's June! Shh, she's meditating. Huh? It's 
like taking a nap, Toto. And look, it's Bip! He loves skateboarding in the park. High five, Bip! Oh dear, that doesn't sound good. <gasps> Uh-oh, it looks like Bip crashed into June with his skateboard. Are you all right, June? What's the matter, June? Oh no, one of your golden earrings is missing. No worries, June. Detective Olette will help you find your earring. Hmm. She can't find it because it's so small. Olette needs something to help her see things bigger than they are. Can you help Olette pick the object that will help her see small things bigger than they are? Okay, does she need a camera, a pair of glasses, a bubble blower, or a magnifying glass? So, which object would be best for the job? A camera, a pair of glasses, a bubble blower, or a magnifying glass? You got it! It's the magnifying glass! Now Olette can search for June's golden earring! Let's see, where is it? Hmm. Oh, hello there! Have you seen a golden earring? Aha! Great job! You found June's earring, Olette! Awesome! Another case solved by Detective Olette! Hi, Olette. What are you working on today? Moo! Oh, what's the matter, Moo? Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no! Better move it, Olette! Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Some of Moo's carrots have gone missing! She won't be able to bake her delicious carrot cake if the rest disappear, too! No worries, Moo! Detective Olette is on the case! Ah, it looks like Detective Olette has a plan! A piece of string and a bell! Hmm, what is she going to do with those? Good thinking, Olette! When the carrot moves, the bell will ring and we can find out what's going on! Now all we have to do is wait until we hear the sound of the bell. Can you help Olette listen out for the sound of the bell? Let's listen really carefully. Shh. <gasps> Do you hear that? Was that the sound of a bell? <laughs> no, that wasn't the sound of the bell ringing. That was one of Moo's chickens clucking. Aha! Is that the sound of Olette's bell? Nope, that was the sound of a frog. Oh, hey, Olette! That's the sound of your bell! Now we'll find out what's happening with those carrots. Huh, how about that? It's a little bunny. Aw, looks like he's really hungry, Moo. You made your famous carrot cake for the bunny and all his friends! Mm, that cake sure looks delicious! Yay! It's time for the next mystery! <gasps> Let's put on your hat and start investigating! Huh? Your hat is missing? Hmm, where could it be? What's that? A clue? That could help you find your hat! Time to solve this mystery! Who has got my hat? Who knows where it's at? I don't know. Hmm. Looking for the clues, that's what you do. Here I go. Where could it be? Look for the tracks you can follow. Don't miss a twist or a turn. Near and far, close and narrow Don't miss a trick you might learn Look through every door, the ceilings and floors as you go
go? Where am I going? Aha! It's a mystery. Where can it be? I don't know. Just don't know. Hmm. Just like pieces and puzzles, put together the clues. Aha! Those footprints and feathers. Now I know that it's you. Hey, don't you go. The chicken's got my hat. Now I know. Now I know. <laughs> surprise alert! <laughs> that chicken took your hat so it would lead you to this surprise party. We want to thank you for helping solve all of the mysteries in Panda City. There is only one mystery left for you to solve. What's inside this box? Huh? The box is empty? Oh, looks like we have another mystery to solve. We'll have to start looking for clues again, guys. Uh, this might take a while. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye <laughs> Bye! Hi there, Richie! Your new supermarket looks awesome! Is everything ready for the grand opening? No? Oh, what still needs to be done? Oh, I see. The bananas haven't arrived yet. Banana. Hey, what's that? Awesome! Koopa's delivered the bananas just in time. <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to eat the bananas, Hoopa. Richie needs them inside. <gasps> Watch out for the banana peel, Hoopa. <laughs> well done, Hoopa. That was a close one. Uh-oh. Everything's gotten all mixed up. Okay, guys, it's Dr. Panda Toto time! Yay! Can you help Richie put all the fruit back in the right place? Let's start with the apples! Hey, look! Richie's arranging the apples in a cool pattern! Do you know which color apple should be next? Red or green? Red! That's right! Red! And do you know what color the last apple should be? Green. That's right! Richie needs a green apple! Good job! The apples are all sorted! Now, what's next? Whoa! That's an impressive looking pyramid, Richie! Now you only need one more piece of fruit to finish it off. Hmm, but what kind of fruit should go at the top? A coconut? How about some grapes? What about the pineapple? Perfect! The pineapple should be on top of the pyramid. Awesome, guys! All the fruit is in the right place! Oh, and just in time for Richie's first customer! It's Olette! Hi, Olette! <coughs> Watch out for that! Uh -oh. Banana peel! <laughs> no worries, Richie! You can sell fruit salads instead! <laughs> <laughs> yee -hee! Look, guys! The doors of Richie's new supermarket have just opened! Uh... I mean, closed. Nope, open. Closed, open. Closed. Hey, what is going on here? Hi, Richie. Something's wrong with the doors. Well, there's nothing Hoopa can't fix. <laughs> doors are fixed again. Richie can open Yay! for business. Here comes Richie's first customer. Hi there, June. Uh-oh, looks like those doors still need fixing. And so do June's glasses. 
No worries, June. Hoopa will be able to fix them. Of course. You need your glasses to read your shopping list. Okay, guys. It's Dr. Panda Toto time. Yay. <laughs> Can you help June find the things on her shopping list? Here's the sandwich June wants to make for lunch. Let's see what she needs to make it. Can you name all the things June needs to make her sandwich? What's this? That's right! Brown bread! And do you know what this is? Yep, it's a tomato! And what is this ingredient? Cheese! That's right! It's cheese! Let's go and find the ingredients June needs. Okay, here we need to find the brown bread. Is that the brown bread? Mm, nope, that's the white bread. You need the brown bread, mm -hmm. June. Hmm. Do you see the brown bread? There it is! Well done! Now, can you help June find a tomato? Yep, there it is! Only one more ingredient to go! All we need now is some cheese! That's not cheese, June! That's yogurt! Can you find the cheese for June? Yep, you got it! June's got everything she needs to make her sandwich! Uh, June, you can't pay for your groceries with a cheese cracker. <laughs> awesome! Hoopa's fixed June's glasses! Now she'll be able to see properly again. Well, see you next time, June! <laughs> May May's shopping for her party this afternoon, so let's see what she needs to buy. One pineapple, two bottles of apple juice, three lollipops, four balloons, and five party hats. All done? Awesome! Now you can pay Richie at the cash register. Maybe you should check you haven't forgotten anything, May May. Uh-oh, your phone is out of batteries. No worries, May May. It's a good thing I used my memory to store your list. <laughs> it's Dr. Panda Toto time. Can you help May May count her groceries? Let's get started. Let's see, May May needs one pineapple. How many pineapples are there? That's one! One pineapple! Oh, careful, Richie! Pineapples can be prickly. May May needs two bottles of apple juice. Let's count how many she has. One. Hmm, hmm, you only have one bottle of apple juice, May May, but you need two. Now you have two bottles! <laughs> awesome! May May needs three lollipops. Can you count how many she has? One, two. Uh oh, May May needs three lollipops, but she only has two. So, how many lollipops is May May missing? You got it! May May needs one more lollipop! Quick as you can, May May! You don't want to keep the other shoppers waiting! Here we go! Three lollipops! All right, May May needs four balloons! Let's count how many she has! One, two, three, four! Excellent! Okay, the last item on May May's list are the five party hats for her guests. Huh? But where are the party hats, May May? Oh, I get it. 
You've invited everyone to your party. One, two, three, four hats. Hang on, where's the fifth party hat? Oh, <laughs> looks like we can have the party right here. Yeah! Hi there, Moo! It's a pretty stormy day, huh? Ah! Oh! Whoa, that is some wind! Better grab a trolley quickly and, and get inside! Where did all the shopping trolleys go? There goes one! The wind must have scattered them all over the parking lot! We'd better warn Richie! Hey, Richie! The wind's blown all your shopping trolleys away! No worries, Richie! It's Dr. Panda Toto time! Can you help Richie find his trolleys? Awesome! Let's get started! Okay, we need to find all five of Richie's supermarket trolleys! Let's take a look and see if we can spot them! Hmm, that car seems to have eight tires. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yep, one of the shopping trolleys is behind that car. Great, that's one. Now we need to find four more. Quick, Richie, follow those trolleys. The two trolleys roll behind two of those three bushes. Can you spot which bushes have a trolley behind them? That's right! The one on the middle and the one on the right! Awesome! You spotted two more! Now we only have two more to go! Mo! Can you spot another trolley? Look out, Richie! Oh, there it is! That's number four! Now, where could the last trolley be? Hmm, not much to see here. Huh? What is Moose Chicken up to? <laughs> Those chickens have found the last shopping trolley! That's all five! Thanks for helping to find the five missing trolleys, guys! Give me a high five! Awesome! Now Moo can finally get all her groceries! Huh? Where did your trolley go now? <laughs> Looks like Moo's chickens are enjoying the ride! Are you taking all those shopping trolleys back inside to the supermarket? Whoa! Ah! Whoa, Bip! Slow down! Richie! Richie! Are you all right? Toot, fruit toot 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 One shiny apple Fruit toot 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 Two green pears One shiny apple Fruit toot 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 Fruit toot 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 Three ripe bananas Two green pears One shiny apple Fruit toot 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 Four juicy oranges Five blue plums Six squidgy strawberries in my tongue. Fruit toot 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 toot. Fruity toot 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 toot. Seven yellow lemons. Fruit toot 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 toot. Eight lovely melons. Seven yellow lemons. Fruit toot 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 toot. Fruit toot 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 toot. Nine pineapples. Eight 
lovely melons, seven yellow lemons, fruit toot 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 toot. Ten yummy cherries in my supermarket store, scrummy and delicious. More, more, more. <laughs> fruit toot 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 toot. Fruit toot 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 toot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten supermarket fruits. <laughs> Richie, wake up! <laughs> Welcome back, Richie. <laughs> it looks like Richie is still dreaming. What a funny, fruity dance. Hey, there's Hoopa! Hi there, Hoopa! That must be Bip. Uh-oh, Bip. Your cart definitely needs a fix-up. Oops! Looks like Bip's racer needs more than just a fix-up now. No worries, Hoopa. Why don't you build a new racing cart for Bip? We can help! Yay! Let's get started. First, Hoopa needs something to make the body of the cart. Hmm, what could he use? It looks like Hoopa's got an idea. Is what you want behind those tires, Hoopa? Can you guess what's behind those tires? Hmm, what could that be? Jacket. I don't think Bip will need that on the road. Whoops! Excuse me, Mr. Mouse. Oh, I see. It's a canoe. But Hoopa, Bip wants to drive on the road, not float on the water. Huh? <laughs> wow! Awesome work, Hoopa. The canoe is perfect for Bip's new cart. Awesome! Can I get a high five? Yay! Okay! <laughs> Bip's new cart looks good, Hoopa. Is it nearly finished? Oh, I see. Are those the parts you need to finish Bip's new cart? Let's take a look and see what you need. Four big racing tires, two small headlights, and one big steering wheel. Okay then, let's go! Wow, you sure have a lot of stuff in your storage room, Hoopa. Can you help Hoopa find the parts for Bip's new race cart? Let's see now, can you spot the four big tires? Uh, Hoopa, that tire is small. Don't you need big tires? <laughs> Ah, there they are! One, two, three, four! Four big tires! Now we need the two small headlights. Can you see them? Well, there's one. And there's two! Two small headlights. One more part to go. Can you spot the big steering wheel? Nope, not that one, Hoopa. That's too small. Yep, you got it. One big steering wheel. Now Hoopa has all the parts he needs for Bip's new racing cart. Wow, Hoopa, Bip's racing cart looks awesome. Are you going to take it for a test drive? Uh, Hoopa, shouldn't the cart be going forwards, not down? Uh-oh, the tires are flat. You're going to have to pump them up with air, Hoopa. Hoopa's looking for something to fill the tires up with air. Can you help Hoopa decide which object will be best for the job? Let's see what Hoopa can use. A straw? A fan? Whoa! A pump? Or a rubber 
Ducky. So, which one of these objects do you think will help Hoopa fill the tires with air? Ducky. <laughs> no, Toto, not the rubber ducky. Yep, you got it. It's the pump. Come on, Hoopa. <laughs> it's time to pump up those flat tires. Awesome work, Hoopa. Now you can take it on that test drive. Wow, look at him go. Yay! Hiya, Hoopa. What have you got there? Oh, I see. Bips made a drawing of how he wants his racing cart to look. Okay, then. We better go get some paint. Hmm. Let's see what colors we need. First, we need some yellow paint. There it is. We also need the color purple. What's the matter, Hoopa? You don't have any purple paint? No worries, Hoopa. We can make some purple paint. That's right. We can make a new color by mixing two other colors together. Let's take the color red. Now, which color shall we mix with the red to make purple? The color... Hmm... Blue! Now, mix them together. Careful, Hoopa! Don't spill it! There you go! Red mixed with blue makes the color purple! Good work! Okay, now, what's the last color that we need for Bip's racing cart? I see. We also need the color orange! There's no orange paint. No worries. We can make some. First, we take some yellow paint. And now, to make orange, we need one more color. Do you know which one we need? The color... Let's see now. Red! <laughs> Let's get mixing. That's right. Yellow mixed with red makes the color orange. Now we have all the paint we need for Bip's racing cart. Wow! Look at that! That's an awesome paint job, Hoopa! Bip loves his new racing cart, Hoopa! Good job! Yay! Uh... Hoopa, don't you know it's race day? <gasps> You'd better hurry if you don't want to miss it. Here we go, guys. It's racing time. On your marks, are you ready? Get set. <laughs> Three, two, one, let's go. Let's go. Watch this dynamo. I'm a speed machine. Watch this engine. Watching Bip win the race was awesome, wasn't it, Toto? Yay! Thanks for helping Hoopa build Bip's race car, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Hi, Hoopa. Hi, Olette. Are you waiting for Bip's bus to arrive? Oh, what's the matter, Olette? Is the bus late? Hmm, where could Bip be? Bip! Bip! Wake up! Did you forget you're driving the bus today? Well, you'd better hurry up! Your passengers are waiting! Here comes the bus, guys! Bip's bus has room for eight people. Can you help Bip keep count of his passengers? Here we go! Hoopa's on board! That's one! And Olette makes two. Now Bip has two passengers. All 
right. On to the next stop, Bip. Here are some more passengers waiting to board the bus. Let's keep counting Bip's passengers. That makes three, four, five, and that's six. Now Bip has six passengers on his bus. So first we had two passengers on the bus. Then four more passengers came on board. And when you add two and four together, you get six. Let's get back on the road, Bip. Hmm, there's no one waiting to get on at this bus stop, but maybe someone needs to get off. Aha, this is Koopa's stop. He's off to work. Okay, everyone. Let's count how many passengers are left now Hoopa has gotten off the bus. There were six passengers on the bus, but one of them got off. Do you know how many people are still on board? Yep, that's right, five. Now there are five passengers on the bus. Great job. On to the next stop, Bip. Moo and her chickens. Hi, Moo. Are you taking the bus to the farmer's market? Uh oh, Bip. There's a problem. There aren't enough seats for everyone. There's only room for eight passengers. Ah, looks like Bip has an idea. Awesome. Now Moo can go to the farmer's market with all of her chickens. Now Moo and her chickens are dropped off at the farmer's market. What's her next stop? Uh, Bip? Bip? Hmm, maybe wearing headphones when you're driving isn't a great idea. Ah, watch out, Bip! The traffic lights have turned red! Just in time! You almost drove through the red light! Maybe we should go over the traffic rules, Bip. Okay, let's look at the traffic light colors and go over what they mean. If the light is green, it means you can go. Green, go, vroom! When the light is yellow, it means attention! The light is about to change. Yellow! If the light is red, it means you have to stop. Red, stop. That's right, Toto. Now can you help Bip remember what the traffic light colors mean? Watch out for the traffic lights and shout together with me. Stop when we see red, attention when we see yellow, and when we see green, we shout... Go! That's right! Go! So, what color is this traffic light? Green! Green! That's right, Toto! It's green! And green is for... Go! Okay, everyone. If you see another traffic light, look at the color and shout with me. Stop, attention, or go! Now, what color is this traffic light? Red! That's right! Red! And red means... Stop! Well done! Whoa! What was that? Oh no, Ziggy! You didn't stop for the red light! You almost bumped into Moo and her chickens! Didn't you know the red light means... Stop! Okay, Bip, the traffic light has turned green. You can go, Bip. Let's see if we can spot more traffic lights. There's one. What color is that traffic light? Yellow. That's right, yellow. And that means... Attention. attention. 
Great job, Bip! Just in time for that zebra crossing! <laughs> we almost didn't see you there, Mr. Zebra! Awesome! Now you remember what all the lights mean perfectly! Where are you off to now? Oh, I get it! You're taking Richie to his chess club! Huh? This isn't the right stop for Richie's chess club! Why have you stopped in the middle of the road, Bip? Oh, I see! It's a traffic jam! All these cars are stuck in traffic! Richie's worried that he'll be late for his chess club! No worries, Richie! We're gonna find out what's blocking the traffic! Hmm, I wonder what it is. It looks like it's something yellow. Banana! <laughs> I don't think it's a banana, Toto. Oh, there's poor Moo! She's stuck in traffic, too! Don't worry, we'll get moving soon! <laughs> Hi, Olette! Some traffic jam, huh? So that's what's causing this traffic jam. It's Hoopa's bulldozer. Looks like he fell asleep behind the wheel and stopped moving. Hoopa! Hey, Hoopa! Time to wake up! Pip needs something to wake up Hoopa so he can move his bulldozer. Can you help Pip decide what's the best way to wake Hoopa up? Okay. What could we use from the bus to wake him up? We could turn on the headlights? Or the window wipers? Ouch. Or the bus horn? Or the radio? Which one would be best for the job to wake Koopa up? The headlights? The window wipers? The bus horn? Or the radio? Uh, beep beep! That's right! The horn! Here we go! On the count of three, let's shout toot toot! Can you do that? One, two, three! Beep beep! Hoopa, you're blocking the road with your bulldozer. Could you move it, please? Oh, thanks, Hoopa. All right, the road is open again. Let's go, Bip. Awesome job, Bip. Richie made it on time for his chess club. So, Bip, what's your next stop? Oh, I see. You're taking Olette to her basketball game. So, you're going to the basketball field in Panda City Park. Whoa! What's going on, Bip? Are we there already? Oh, no. The road ahead is being repaired. We can't reach the park this way! Good thinking, Bip! You're going to find a new route! Let's see now. Our bus is here. And the Panda City Park is over there. We can't take the street straight ahead, so we need to find a new way to get to the park. Look, Bip! The map is showing you a new direction! Hmm. It looks like first you'll have to cross the bridge. Can you help Bip figure out which way to go? Okay, do we need to go left or right to cross the bridge? Yep, you got it! We need to go right! Another intersection! Let's take a look on the map to see which way we need to go. Aha! 
Looks like we need to pass the Panda Beach Lighthouse next. Do we need to go left or right to pass the lighthouse? Yep, that's it. We need to turn left. Oh, the map says we'll have to cross the train tracks next. Okay, do we need to go left, right, or straight ahead to cross the train tracks? That's correct! We need to go straight ahead. Oh, hang on! There's a train coming. We'll have to wait until it passes. Let's wave at the passengers. <laughs> Hi there! <laughs> Let's go, Bip. We're nearly there. All we have to do is go through the tunnel and we'll be at the park. Here we go. Whoa, it's really dark. Better turn your lights on, Bip. Yay! Great job, Bip. You got Olette to the park on time for her game. Uh, Olette, didn't you forget something? You forgot your basketball. <laughs> Have a good game, Olette. Awesome! Can I get a high five? Yay! Okay! <laughs> Your bus is empty! You must be almost done for today! Are you heading home? Only one more stop at the Panda City Fair and it's time to head home! Whoa! There are a lot of passengers waiting to go home! On, Bip, you can't quit yet. Just one more trip and then you can go home. I know what'll make this more fun, Bip. Music! Let's turn on that radio. All aboard Bip's bus, everyone! Time to get rolling. Here we go. Back on the road, a passenger load. My friends and faces and places I go. It's my bus. It's for all of us. Stop number one. Go and have fun. Goodbye. Yeah! Oh, we're back on the road. A passenger load. Driving through the country and the places I know. Stop number two. It's for you. Goodbye. Bye! Riding through Panda City. Oh, you sure look good to me The people, they look so friendly Here we are now, it's stop number three Feels like I'm almost home One more stop to go Oh no, oh no, oh no It's gone to E And that E means it's Empty Push and shove what a long day it's been Move that bus Fill it up Right to the top To the top Hurrying up Going to the number four stop Yeah! Oh, we're back on the road A passenger load My friends and faces and the places I go It's my bus It's for all of us Number four, there are no more. Goodbye! <laughs> oh, it's been a long day. I'm parking my bus. I won't complain or make a fuss, but I'm going home! Yeah! Goodbye! <laughs> Hi, Mamie! Hi, Bip! Looks like you're having fun! <laughs> Mamie, you're getting really good at jumping. Hmm. Hey, look at Bip go! Awesome! Whoa, Mamie's 
gone really high in the sky. Huh? Where did Maymay go? Fly! <laughs> no, Maymay can't fly, Toto. There she is! She's up in the tree! <laughs> oh, uh oh! And it looks like she can't get down! <laughs> huh? Don't worry, Bip! Firefighter Olette will know what to do! Olette! Olette! Mimi is stuck in a tree! She needs your help! <laughs> Off she goes! Olette to the rescue! Don't worry, Bip! Olette will soon get Mimi down! gonna get Maymay down from the tree. Would you like some help deciding what to use to rescue her? No worries, Alette. It's Dr. Panda Toto time! Yeah! Can you help Alette decide what she needs to get Maymay down from the tree? Okay, here we go! Right, guys, let's see what Alette has in her fire engine. She could use a fire extinguisher. Or a water hose. Or a ladder. Ready to pick? Which of these things do you think Olette should use? Yep, you got it! Olette needs the ladder to rescue Maymay. Keep the ladder steady while Olette goes to get Mamie! Yeah. Great job, everyone! Now Mamie is safe and sound on the ground! Huh? Go ahead and join them, Olette! Hey. Have fun, guys! <laughs> Can I get a high five? Yay! Okay! <laughs> There's Hoopa! And it's his birthday today! Hey, Hoopa! Happy birthday! <laughs> hey. So, you're having your party at Moo's house, huh? Whoa! That cake smells delicious, Moo! <laughs> Hang on, guys! Hoopa needs to make a wish and blow out the candles before you eat the cake. Uh, Hoopa, your cake seems to be on fire. No worries, Hoopa. All you need to do is call Firefighter Olette. Olette! Olette! Hoopa's cake is on fire! We need your help at Moo's farm to put it out! Off she goes! Olette to the rescue! Quick as you can, Olette! Don't worry, guys! Olette will have the fire out in no time! Uh-oh! Is your hose broken, Olette? Oh no! It looks like there's a leak in your hose! No worries, Olette! It's Dr. Panda Toto time! We'll help you think of another way to put out that fire! Olette needs to find something to use to put water on the fire. Can you help her choose what she should use? Awesome! Let's get choosing! Okay, guys, let's see what Olette could use to put water onto the fire. She could try a teacup. Cup. Or a bucket. Uh-oh, I think Mr. Mouse was trying to finish his bath. Sorry, Mr. Mouse. Or a pancake. Or a tuba. Okay, so should Olette use the cup, the bucket, the pancake, or the tuba. Yep, that's right! Olette needs the bucket to put water onto the fire. <laughs> uh, I don't 
don't think you're going to be able to eat your birthday cake after all, Hoopa. Uh -huh. Oh, hey, I know. Why don't you go out for ice cream instead? Oh, yeah, and I bet yeah, Olette yeah. will take you all in her fire engine as a birthday treat. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your ice cream, guys. Ah! Hi, Bip. Hi, May May. Some tricks, Bip! <laughs> oh, watch out, little squirrel! Whoa. Watch out, Bip! <laughs> Ouch! Bip, are you okay? Uh-oh, it looks like Bip has hurt himself. No worries, Mimi. All you need to do is call Olette and she'll come to the rescue. <laughs> Olette! Maymay's calling! There's an emergency! Bip has had an accident in the park! You need to get going right away! Ah! Hurry, Olette! Oh, here's Olette to the rescue! Ah! Hmm, it looks like Bip might have a broken bone. You'd better get him to the hospital, Olette! Don't worry, May May. You can visit Bip in hospital later. You'd better look after his skateboard for him, too. Did Bip need an x-ray to see what's wrong, Olette? Oh, I see. That x-ray shows Bip's leg before he fell over, and that one shows his leg now. Now all you have to do is figure out which bone is broken, and then you can put a cast on it. Would you like us to help you spot the broken bone? Mm-hmm. No worries, Alette. It's Dr. Panda Toto time. We'll help you. Can you help Alette see which bone Bip has broken? Awesome. Let's take a look. Okay, first, let's take a look at the x-ray of Bip's leg from before he fell over in the park. Uh, so the foot bone is connected to the leg bone, the leg bone's connected to the knee bone, and the knee bone is connected to the thigh bone, huh? And here's the x-ray from after he fell over. Hmm, can you spot the difference between the first x-ray and the second? You got it! Do you remember the name of this bone? Bip has broken his leg bone. Awesome! Bip's leg will mend quickly now that he's got a cast on it. Great job, Olette! Don't watch out, Mimi! We don't want another broken bone around here. Ah, oh, don't worry, Bip. Your leg will soon be mended. <gasps> wow, look at that! Now you've got the coolest cast in the hospital! <laughs> it doesn't look like a broken leg is going to slow Bip down. <laughs> Hey there, Leo! It's a lovely day for a walk, isn't it? Mm -hmm. oh. Huh? Are you taking pictures of the clouds, Leo? Mm -mm. <gasps> Whoa! An eagle! That's beautiful! Look at it fly! Fly! I can see why you'd want to take a photo of it, Leo. Mm. It's awesome! There it is, Leo! See if you can get a good shot. Hey, Leo! Don't forget to look where you're going! Uh, Leo? Hang on tight! Call Olette to come and rescue you! Olette will soon get you off the mountainside! Quick, Olette! Leo needs your help! He's stuck on the side of the mountain! Hmm. Which one are you going to use to rescue Leo? No worries, Olette! 
It's Dr. Panda Toto time! Yay! We can help you choose what to use. Can you help Olette decide what to use to rescue Leo? Awesome! Let's get choosing! Okay, let's see. Should Olette use the bicycle? Or should she use the ambulance? Wait, wait, wait. Or the helicopter? Okay, guys, should Olette use the bicycle, the ambulance, or the helicopter? Yep, you got it! Olette needs to use the helicopter to go and rescue Leo from the mountainside. Oh, great flying, Olette! Fly! Here's Olette to rescue you, Leo! Wow, what a cool photo that's going to be, Leo! Awesome job, Olette! You rescued Leo from the mountainside and helped him get an amazing Yay! photo of the eagle, too! Wow! Hi, Olette! You sure are a real hero helping so many lives every day! All that your firefighter costume is missing is a superhero <laughs> cape! Looks like someone needs your help! Olette to the rescue! Call them all around the world, the real rescue heroes! Call for help and shout out for the real rescue people! They're coming, they're coming, running, running, jumping and diving, flying and driving, trying to help and save the world. Call them out around the world, the real rescue heroes. They're for you and they're for me, the real rescue people. They're coming, they're coming, running, running, jumping and diving, flying driving, trying to help and save the world. On their way, fearless and brave. They're so brave. Oh, and fearless. They're coming, they're coming, running, running, jumping and diving, flying and driving, trying to help. for more Toto Time episodes, and be sure to subscribe to our channel! <laughs>